I am living the dream. You don't get what you wish for. You don't even get what you hope for. You get what you believe. I am who I am. One black woman, my hand in God's hand, trusting in that word, cause that word never failed me. And I got to where I am and I stand as I am. As Maya Angelou often said, and says in her poem to our grandmothers, every time you see me, I come as one, but I stand as 10,000. I stand and sit at the boards as one, but I'm bringing the 10,000 behind me because I not only know who I am, but I also know whose I am. My one hope today is, is, to, is that I can be a source of some inspiration. My, my television career began unexpectedly. As you heard this morning, I was in the Miss Fire Prevention Contest. That was when I was 16 years old in Nashville, Tennessee. So during the question and answer period, the question came, why young lady, what would you like to be when you grow up? And by the time they got to me, all the good answers were gone. So I answered, I would like to be a journalist. I would like to tell other people's stories in a way that makes a difference in their lives and the world. I was on television by the time I was 19 years old. And in 1986, I launched my own television show with a relentless determination to succeed. At first, I was nervous about the competition, and then I became my own competition, raising the bar. Eventually, we did make it to the top, and we stayed there for 25 years. But a few years ago, I decided, as you will at some point, that it was time to recalculate find new territory, break new ground. So I ended the show and launched OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network. One year later, after launching OWN, nearly every media outlet had proclaimed that my new venture was a flop, not just a flop, but a big, bold flop, they call it. I can still remember the day I opened up USA Today and read the headline, Oprah not quite standing on her own. It, it really was, this time last year, the worst period in my professional life. I was stressed and I was frustrated and quite frankly, I was, I was actually, I was embarrassed. And as I was in the shower, the words of an old hymn came to me. You may not know it. It's by and by when the morning comes. And I started thinking about when the morning might come because at the time I thought I was stuck in a hole. And the words came to me, trouble, trouble don't last always from that hymn. This too shall pass. When I was about eight years old, I grew up in the church. We need some, a little girl can Oprah come back and do a recitation this afternoon? My stepmother said, yeah, I'll have her back here this afternoon. And learned to recite Invictus by William Ernest Henley. There is the stanza that says, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. And those words became a mantra for me. What it said is, I am responsible for the choices that I make in my life. As I got out of the shower, I am going to turn this thing around and I will be better for it. And when I do, and I'm going to speak the truth of it. So I'm here today to tell you, I have turned that network around. It doesn't matter how far you might rise. At some point, you are bound to stumble because there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. Give yourself time to mourn what you think you may have lost. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake, because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes are there to teach you 
and force you into being more of who you are. And then figure out what is the next right move. The key to life is to develop an internal, moral, emotional GPS that can tell you which way to go. What is the dream for you? What is God's dream for you? What does the Creator's dream hold for you? So what is it you believe and know to be God's dream for you? Because there was a bigger dream for me. And I'm here to tell you there is a bigger dream for you. And I want you to live the dream because I'm not living the dream because I'm special. I'm living the dream because I was obedient to the call of the dream. I was here on earth to use television and not be used by it to illuminate the transcendent power of our better angels. But the challenge of life I have found is to build a resume that doesn't simply tell a story about what you want to be, but it's a story about who you want to be. The common denominator that I found in every single interview is we want to be validated. We want to be understood as a human being. You want to max out your humanity. I know you all understand better than most that real progress requires authentic way of being, honesty, and above all, empathy. But no matter what challenges or setbacks or disappointments you may encounter along the way, you will find true success and happiness if you have only one goal. There really is only one, and that is this, to fulfill the highest, most truthful expression of yourself. Meaning, do not allow yourself to be marginalized and defined by other people's agendas and intentions because the power of your story lies in your personal intention. That you consider not doing anything that you don't truly intend and that the intention is going to determine the outcome. Theologian Howard Thurman said it best. He said, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. The key, the secret, the magic is to surrender to God's dream for you. It is my intention to live and be pressed to the mark of the highest calling that I have come to do. What is your true calling? What is your dharma? What is your purpose? You will have questions and you will have doubts about your path. If you're willing to listen, to be guided by that still small voice that is the GPS within yourself, to find out what makes you come alive, you will be happy, you will be successful, and you will make a difference in the world.